Hi Cozy friends, how are we this week? I'm gonna jump right into the video. This is my 10 fall favorite cozy games. And these are gonna be a combination of games that are both actually kind of fall-y and autumnal, and games that I think are just so cozy that they fit in perfectly with the fall season. The first is Night in the Woods. So Night in the Woods is both aesthetically very fall and autumnal, and it's also cozy and fall like in feeling I guess you could say so there's a lot of like emotional moments and feel-good moments and those to me just scream fall. The town is just this perfect little autumnal spooky enclosed space that you can explore every day. There's also a song in it called Pumpkinhead Guy so come on come on it's meant for the fall. Luigi's Mansion is my absolute favorite co-op multiplayer game on the Switch. And I don't think it needs an explanation as to why it's perfect for fall. It's just a spooky game. There's aspects of it that aren't very spooky and fall-like. Like there's a, a box that's like beach themed, but on the whole, it's a game about catching ghosts. So perfect and spooky for the fall. In the lobby of the hotel, there's like cute little pumpkins and, and kind of fall Halloween decor. Just the perfect fall game and perfect if you wanna play with a partner or a friend. The next is Little Misfortune. Little Misfortune, where do I start? I did a demo of this on my channel if you wanna watch it, and I finished it on my Patreon, but it is just the most charmingly horrifying game I have ever played. It's beautiful, it's, it's very autumnal, the colors are perfect for fall, but it is just terrifying in both concept and in the, the things that you play through. There were definitely moments when I was like, Ugh, I can't look, I can't look, it's too scary. But it's perfectly spooky for the fall and there's like a fall festival, there's a, a horror festival going on in the game at one point and it's just little misfortune. You just fall in love with her and you want the best for her. It's a game about bringing this girl through a series of choices and hoping she doesn't die at the end. <laughs> and it's terrifying, creepy, but also charming. Best Friend Forever is a dating sim and dating sims are kind of love or hate. I feel like you either really like it, you like the conversational aspect, you know, or you just aren't interested, you want more action going on. This one though is a nice balance, I think, because there's also an aspect where you're like training a dog and that's kind of the main goal and the dating kind of takes a, a background focus but regardless of all of it you are in this town that is in a perpetual state of fall and i love it it's so cute and i always say this but it's one of the really diverse dating sims which i always appreciate the next is spirit fair and this is again kind of an aesthetic one for me i think the colors of spirit fair are just so warm and cozy and the design of the ships and all the rooms that you're building on the ship is just so beautiful and, and lovely and cozy. There's no other word for it. It's just cozy. And all of the characters are really comforting and nice. And something about like feeding and tending to and caring for all of these people on your ship and like upgrading their houses is really just like a comforting, cozy activity. And I think that makes it really folly to me. Often during my stream, I will sit on the edge of the boat and just stand there and look at the beautiful sunset. So if you just want a fall color scheme in your game with also like a beautiful, amazing game while you experience that color scheme, um, Spirit Fair is definitely the way to go. I couldn't have this list without including Animal Crossing. I don't often include Animal Crossing in my recommendation list because it's so popular amongst cozy gamers that I just kind of assume you already know Animal Crossing, but it is so nice for fall. I do not play Animal Crossing anymore because I burned myself out, but when fall comes around, I do pop in just to see the orange trees and the fall activities when Jack comes into town and I like just like placing all of the fall decor around and crafting the fall decor. It, it definitely like reignites my interest in the game when the rest of the year it's I have zero interest. So if you maybe tried Animal Crossing and kind of gave up on it, maybe visit it, revisit it in the fall and see if, if the love can kind of come back a little bit. The next is Kataria Fables and I have a demo of this on my channel. I haven't gotten to play much of it, but immediately the first thing that I noticed was the colors and the town and how autumnal it felt the like grass colors and the colors of the shops and the cuteness of the villagers all just feel like the same kind of warmth and comfort you get from like 
a cute little kind of like old style medieval town in the fall. And I love that all the characters are just these cute little animals. And it just seems like a great farming sim. I haven't personally gotten to the actual farming yet but there's so many aspects to the game, like the fighting element is really fun, that I'm sure the farming is even better. And if you're maybe like a little bit burnt out from the other farming sims that have been around for a while, it's a great new one to try. So Kataria Fables, again, aesthetically very fall. The next is Breath of the Wild. This one is less aesthetic and more feelings. So Breath of the Wild, if you don't know, is like an exploration kind of RPG game with some puzzles involved. It is, it is open world. It's the first, I believe, open world Zelda game, which is like this massive entire huge map that you could explore for hours. And that's what I love about it. And that's what makes it kind of fall like to me and cozy enough to cuddle up with during the fall and so much freedom in what you can choose to do so you can explore on your horse and run around the fields or run around in the wintry snowy mountains or you can like cook up food forever and just do that and hang out in like the cute little cozy towns that they have so this one is definitely like a feeling a very calm relaxing exploration feeling that I think is perfect for fall. The next is Hollow Knight, which is a platformer. I tried to kind of do a variety of different types of games and this is the one platformer on this list. Night in the Woods has some platform elements, but this is like pure platformer. I haven't personally played a ton of it, but I always, always, always get recommendations for Hollow Knight. And my reason for doing it again is aesthetic. It's this cute little character with this like spooky face and it's like dark. And I think it gives really warm, spooky fall vibes. And if you like a platformer, I think this is aesthetically a good one to go. And the last is Graveyard Keeper, which this again, kind of like Luigi's Mansion, doesn't really need an explanation as to why it's here. It's a spooky concept. Think Stardew Valley, but you're managing a graveyard. So all of the like management farm sim type things, but applied to running a graveyard. And I think that's just the coolest concept and it's a little spooky and the animation style is really great. So if you're looking for a spooky little farming game, definitely try it, Graveyard Keeper. And again, the aesthetics of it are very cozy and autumnal. <laughs> it's hard for it not to be when it's a farming sim. And my honorable mention, because I have to mention it in every video ever, is Stardew Valley. I won't go on about Stardew Valley because you already know about it probably. The fall time in Stardew Valley is the peak fall feelings that I ever feel playing a game. So just an honorable mention, just an honorable mention. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, stay cozy. Let me know if I missed any games that are perfect for the fall on the Switch in the comments and I will see you later, bye.